This splice can be used to join ground sills, girders or beams. The two ends of the joints are identical and referred to as the upper wood and lower wood. Two mortises are deepened through the depth of the splice for inserting draw pins. The joint is assembled by sliding the internal face of the upper wood over the internal face of the lower wood, keeping the surfaces of the middle drops in close contact. The pieces are then pressed together and secured by pounding into draw pins, effectively interlocking the front and back surfaces of the joint. The pins are inserted from the thicker end toward the thinner end, in an alternate fashion. Unlike other oblique scarf splices no axial shifting is required to assemble this splice, making it particularly suitable for installing or replacing a beam between fixed supports or a sill between anchor points. This rabbited oblique scarf splice could be more appropriately called, pinned rabbited oblique scarf splice. For square sections between 105 mm to 120 mm, the length of the splice should be 3 to 4 times the width of the section. The tensile test was also carried on at 105 mm square section assembly made of black pine. An even bigger strength increase than that of the gooseneck splice was obtained. The joint failed at 4,000 kg by shearing through one of the adhesion planes. 